We begin with the coronavirus outbreak at noon. Health officials are investigating the first corona case with no known origin. President Trump says the United States is totally prepared to respond to the growing coronavirus threat. Today, the first task force meeting begins to deal with the outbreak. CBS 4 Skylar Henry is live in Washington, D.C. with the latest. Skylar. Hey, Carly and Maribel, good afternoon to you. Yeah, Vice President Mike Pence is leading that meeting that's scheduled to start this afternoon, and he's already starting to make some progress, naming Ambassador uh, Debbie Burks as the head of the White House Coronavirus uh, Response Coordination Team. And so he's already getting his team together in place. But this comes as health officials try to investigate that case out in California and determine where it came from. A patient at UC Davis Medical Center in Sacramento is in isolation with coronavirus. The CDC says it may be the first case of community transmission in the United States, meaning the patient was probably infected by someone in the general population. The person who exposed them probably exposed others, so there's probably other cases out there in the community that we don't know about. This is the 15th case to originate in the U.S. The other 14 cases involved either people who had traveled to China or who had close contact with an infected patient. Concerns over the coronavirus continue to rattle markets. The Dow Jones continued its slide Thursday. We are on track to have the worst week for stocks since the financial crisis. It's been sort of unrelenting selling starting with Monday morning. President Trump tried to reassure Americans and jittery investors. Whatever happens, we're totally prepared. But Mr. Trump seemed to contradict his own health officials about the future trajectory of the virus. We do expect more cases. There's a chance it could get fairly substantially worse, but uh, nothing's inevitable. On Capitol Hill this morning, the Secretary of Health and Human Services explained that isolating patients is for containment, but that won't necessarily be the protocol if the virus becomes widespread. If we end up having um, broader spread, it will look and feel to the American people more like a severe flu season in terms of the interventions and approaches you see. The president tapped Vice President Mike Pence to head the administration's task force for monitoring the outbreak. He's meeting with that task force this afternoon. So there are 45 cases of the coronavirus here in the U.S., both from evacuees who have escaped uh, Wuhan, China, and also from that Diamond Princess cruise ship uh, from Japan as well. So, of course, we're going to continue to monitor what comes from that meeting with Vice President Pence later on today. Reporting here on Capitol Hill, I'm Skyler Henry, CBS 4 News.